Hi everyone, this is Toxinos Philippines teaching you how to trade and invest in the Philippine stock market independently. Our top winner for the day is LRW. Alright, let's open the fundamentals tab first. Anyhow, it's a clear breakout. Resistance was expected at around 2.60 and the stock was able to move above it. 15 EMA and 20 SMA is acting as support. 50 SMA is about to do a bullish crossover versus the 200 SMA. There was also volume support of the breakout. Uh, that was next support at 2.8 followed by 2.98. But stock is still trending strongly. Next probable support is at 3.27. 2.9 ah resistance I mean 3.27 well, support is at 2.98 MACD is still bullish RSI is also bullish but overbought all right let's check the fundamentals of the stock let's open EDC as well because that is our top loser LRW all right let's look at the uh, Chart of EDC first, but well, it's loading. EDC is our top loser with volume. The first four doesn't have volume. EDC is down 5.63% with a net foreign selling of 42.6 million. Okay, it's a breakdown. Support should have been at 5.85, followed by 5.76, but it didn't uh, hold. So next resistance is 5.76. While support is at 5.68, stock is also below the 200 SMA. There was volume confirmation on the downtrend. 15 EMA is about to do a bearish crossover versus the 50 SMA. 20 SMA is pointing downwards as well. MACD is bearish, so is RCI, RSI. It has hit over sold condition, but it can remain over sold for extended periods of time. If 5.68 does not hold, next support will be around 5.5. But right now, it doesn't look good for the stock. EDC fundamentals. Okay. So EDC had a net profit of 9.72 billion in 2016. Higher than the 7.86 billion in 2015. This uh, stock also has an EPS of 0 0.5. This brings the stock's PE to... 11.4 is actually undervalued versus the index. Stock is also trading at a P to BV of 2.09, a premium versus the normal value of 1.00. LRW. LRW is actually a warrant, so it really depends on how LR is doing. But anyhow, the stock has a net income of 1.33 billion. EPS is at 0 0.77 at this at this EPS, stock is trading at 3.98 times P, so it's actually undervalued. P to BV wise, ah wait, BV is at 6.01, price is at 3.07, it's actually just one half, 5.51 times P to BV making the stock undervalued which is the normal value of 1.00 alright so that was our top winner and top user analysis for July 10, 2017 thank you for watching this is Stocks in the Philippines teaching you how to trade and invest in the Philippine stock market independently